Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. L. Bronin here again, and recently this trailer for My Hero Academia Ultra Rumble came out, which is an awesome new game from Bandai Namco, and it's going to be a free-to-play, 24-player battle royale of the My Hero Academia universe, which is kind of ridiculous. Okay, so I, what I thought we would do is we just watch through this trailer, react to it, and then afterwards I'll make a different video where there's a 30 minute gameplay reveal for this game where we can like really watch full matches of the game and then we'll go through that, see really how the game works. But even just in this trailer, there is some really promising stuff. Even just starting with this, these lovely like landscape sweeps of the map, they look amazing and well designed, which is not something you'd expect for a free to play anime game. So that's really promising. Hopefully they have more than one map, but I wouldn't get too hopeful. So as you can see, we play as our heroes, Deku, Todoroki, Bakugo, and I'm pretty sure in one of these um, scenes we see that villains can play with heroes as well, so it's really just 24 people battling it out in teams of three. Just whatever goes, goes. <laughs> so you can see there's melee, there's three abilities that have certain cooldowns, and you upgrade your abilities by picking up these cards off of the screen, off of the map, out of chests and things. And certain characters have, like, specific... Um, special things to them, like some characters, like Mount Lady here, has the triangle ability, only some characters have that. So Bakugo had one as well. Quirk and cooperate, so upgrading your quirk and cooperating with your team leads to victories. See, Bakugo is picking up some upgrade things, you can get some potions and upgrade your abilities with different cards. And you can pick up ones, like here Deku has one for Deku, so he can give it to his teammate, which is pretty cool. And they can all, like, you know, work together to make each other stronger, wow, teamwork stuff. And it seems like everyone has, like, a basic projectile, or just as projectile as they can get. Toga obviously has knives, Bakugo throws some fire, Todoroki throws some fire, Deku flicks a bit. So, this might be a bit of a weird take, but this game kind of reminds me of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. I don't- if you haven't played that, it's a Plants vs. Zombies game that is a third-person shooter and a battle royale. So it's really similar to this, and it's really giving me that vibe, because every character has, like, this reticule where they can, you know, fire, a basic projectile from and they have some extra abilities but like it's not a basic projectile like it's a gun everyone has you know that unique projectiles they act differently go different speeds and I imagine there will be some characters that don't have projectiles that are, it might be a bit too weird for them to have projectiles like what is Mountain Lady gonna do like kick rocks actually I might have a look when we get to her because I think we see her playing a bit see what her um, abilities are but like in Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, the carnivorous plant doesn't have a a projectile, obviously. It just, like, bites people, and but it has a reticule for that. So I imagine that will be the same for some characters here. They just won't have projectiles. And, um... Because there is regular melee as well. We see um, Bakugo just punching some people up. And here, we get a good view of all of Deku's abilities. So we all have an alpha, a beta, and a gamma ability from your R1, R2, R1, and L1. So your R2, which is, you know, your regular <clears throat> first-person, third-person shooter trigger button to shoot a gun. So that just acts as your projectiles, and we see Deku using them a bunch. Or we see everyone using them a bunch throughout the trailer. So, like, here we see um, Deku's using them, and every time he fires a projectile, it kind of, like, counts down. So he has, like, eight projectiles before, I guess, he has to, like, cool down and charge up some more or whatever there's you know just a cooldown to using projectiles but he just like you know aims up he's trying to aim for w but it kind of sucks but as you can see in the bottom right he's got six left and they're going down each time he fires one so that's pretty cool and then we see all might doing a very similar thing where he's just throwing out these punch projectiles and his you know his projectile meter is going down and that's just literally him he's just going to be pressing the right trigger and i imagine the base like just punching attacks is just going to be square so it's just like a, a Lego fighter or something. Here we get to see All Might using his Gamma ability. So that's his L1 ability, where he just does this massive tornado, which is extremely well animated. I thought that stood out very strangely for, like, this game. All of a sudden, there's just this HD spinning tornado. It looked amazing. And then Shigaraki here is using his Beta ability, which I imagine is just like One's Justice 2. Actually, a lot of the animations and the models are obviously recycled from One Justice 2, but we get to see some new textures and animations. Like, it's a new puddle, and Todoroki's ice looks different, and they had to animate new characters like Cementos and Mount Lady. So, there is some new stuff, but there's a lot of recycled animations. Um, something here that I thought was really interesting is you can see Bakugo's going in for his base attacks, which I imagine is just, you know, a matching square. But, 
What shocked me is look at Shigaraki. He's just walking around and now he's blocking Bakugo's attacks. I did not expect there to be a block button in a game like this, in a 3D um, a, a battle royale game that's like a third person shooter. You do not expect there to be a block button. Like, you'd expect to just to have to dodge and get out of the way of the things, not to stand there and block. Like, that begs the question is there a grab? Like, how do you beat blocking? Or does blocking. Is there a downside to blocking? Like, maybe you can get hit from behind by a teammate or something, so when you're in a big crowd of people, you can barely block because everyone's hitting you from all angles. It's just interesting. I did not expect to see a block button in this game. And here we can see Bakugo using his Gamma ability, just rolling into these villains. Completely misses them all. Oh, actually hits them with that last explosion, doesn't he? <laughs> then Darby using his Gamma ability, which I imagine the Gamma ability seems to be like the big area of effect stuff that will probably have the longest cooldown. But as you can see, Darby has picked up a bunch of tiles, or cards or whatever they're called, that has upgraded his Gamma ability because it says level 6 down here, unlike his other abilities which are still level 1. And upgrading them just increases the damage and size of the attacks, I'm pretty sure, from what we've seen. Here, Todoroki is using his beta ability, I think, kind of like counteracting that. And then Uraraka spinning with her beta ability. Oh, so hers is interesting. It seems like she has like a certain amount of spinning she can do, because it starts on like 80 or 100, it seems. And just like the longer she spins, the more it goes down. So she could just spin, if she got someone caught in that, she could just spin on them for ages and like knock them out with that car. <laughs> I wonder if, um, oh, how far did we go? Yeah, I wonder if there's a limit to how long she can hold that down or is it just like literally until that countdown goes down? Because she's spinning for like, you know, a few cycles there and it's barely gone down in like 10, 10 numbers. It's ridiculous. Here we've got like a ton of people in a crowd playing as Toga. And Toga's just doing some melee and then uses her Gamma ability, which we couldn't really see it, but it seems like from the little icon in the bottom, like she's doing her Quirk Steel thing that we see in One's Justice 2. I'm intrigued to see how that'll work for her here. Maybe she just steals someone else's Gamma ability? That would be kind of ridiculous. Here we've got... Ooh! So to you, we can see in her gamma ability, she goes invisible and her alpha is just her using a tongue. So it's just gonna be like a short range, quick projectile. And her beta ability is going to be her licking in a circle. Oh, that's what she's using here. Oh, she, can, she just does a big blast. Smentos puts up a big wall. Pretty cool for, you know, helping your team if you're in danger. Ooh, Compress just like teleports himself. Oh, here we have Mount Lady. So yeah, oh, damn it. See, she does just have projectiles if it has her alpha ability. What, do, what is she doing? Just punching really hard and making projectiles? She's not Deku, she's not All, all Might, how is she doing that? Um, beta ability, she just stomps. Alpha ability, she slides and she gets big with triangle. So yeah, use your upgrade your quirks with these cards that you pick up to make all of your abilities more powerful. You can pick up potions and stuff to heal and get shield and stuff. Oh, actually, maybe this is this, like, shield thing. In Fortnite, I'm pretty sure it's just, like, a shield where you don't take damage. But maybe in this game, it's, like, how long you can block for. Maybe that's how the block mechanic works. I don't know. And you can pick up cards for your teammates. So, like, Deku has a Bakugo one here, so we can give them to his teammates, and you can all grow stronger together. Wow. How lovely. <laughs> And just a few more random fight scenes, we just get to see a bunch more abilities thrown. All Might's just walking. Shigaraki, we get to see his basic projectile, it's just like in um, One's Justice 2 new form Shigaraki, where he just makes a crack in the ground. There's Todoroki's fireballs. Oh, Suyu does a thing. Whoa, what was Uraraka doing there? She's a grappling hook? Oh, and it seems like that's her alpha ability. Yeah, jeez, what? Toga throwing some knives. Bakugo throwing some, I don't know, straight lines of explosiveness. I don't even know what that was. Deku was about to do something cool there, but we didn't get to see it all. Let's go through it one more time and just look at each person's abilities. So he's, because you can see pretty well what they're going to be just from their little icons, which is kind of cool. So, I can't see them now, because they've got this stuff over the screen. <clears throat> so, Mount Lady first. Yeah, we already looked at her. She's got projectiles, some for some reason, a stomp, a 
slide and she can change size. Deku has his flick projectiles. Um, oh wait, he has this flying kick, which is what he was doing in the last scene. And his gamma ability seems to be his black whip. Cool stuff. I'm intrigued as to what he's gonna do with his black whip. Will he just go crazy like he did when he like unlocked it for the first time? And just like whip everyone with it? Oh look, we didn't get to see it, but you can see he just used it here. Because it's in cooldown. But we still don't get to see it. So doing his basic projectiles. All Might. He's got, you know, his punch projectiles. He's got just a massive earthquake punch on the floor as his beta. And that, to like, tornado spinning thing as his gamma, which we see a few times. And lo yeah, looks awesome. Sh Shigaraki, he's got that, like, ground um, crack as his basic projectile. This ground puddle of damage as his beta. And gamma, I'm not sure. Maybe he, like, grabs one person and does a ton of damage and like does his decay thing on them I'm not quite sure it's a bit hard to tell from that icon but it looks like he just does a not a massive area of effect thing and maybe he just hits one person with some damaging thing Bakugo yeah he's got these like straight explosive laser things I guess as his basic projectiles then he's got these bombs we see him use in the um 30 minute gameplay uh, that he just throws out and they explode, and then the gamma thing is that massive roll we see before, and he's got a triangle ability where he just flies basically like a firebender. There's his gamma ability. Darby, you know, he throws some blue fireballs. His beta one looks interesting. Maybe he places these traps on the screen and they explode when people walk into them. That could be really cool. And his gamma is just this massive ring of fire we see here. Um, Todoroki. Yeah, so he's got his fire projectiles that are kind of very similar to Bakugo's. His beta is just this thing where he puts up a big wall of ice and his gamma seems to be when he slides on ice or just makes like an ice thing to walk on um his triangle ability does he just make a flamethrower what most of the triangle abilities are like movement or like mount ladies was changing size but his Todoroki is just literally a flamethrower then uraraka we see yeah, she's got some, like, grappling hook projectile thing we get to see her use for a little bit and a bit. She's got a spinning car, and her ga Okay, Uraraka looks really interesting, because I have no idea how the hell she's gonna work. So her triangle ability is... Sh she just floats, I guess? Can she just, like, fly a bit? Or can she, like, float up onto buildings? And her gamma ability, like, she lifts things into the air? Like, what do they do? Do they get hit by her beta ability? And, like, get li hit with the car launched into people? Or, like, can she choose to drop them down if someone walks under them? Because that could be kind of hard to use. Maybe if it does a lot of damage, it'd be useful. I'm really intrigued to see how she would work. Then Toga. Um, obviously, she just has some basic throwing knives. Her beta is probably just some slash with knives. Her gamma seems interesting, though. It's the same color as her quirk steel in One's Justice 2, so I'm intrigued as to how that's going to work. To you, she's got, like, a massive tongue lick i imagine just like in one justice 2 just a quick you know long-ranged tongue thing which will act as her projectile uh just a big tongue slash and she can go invisible for a gamma which is really cool caught darby, darby off guard there cementos seems like he throws a bit of cement and it makes a wall that could be a really cool projectile where he just builds from a distance um his beta ability is doing here where he makes a big wall his gamma um not quite sure what that is. Just puts up a bunch of walls and they hurt people, I guess. Um, compress. I guess he just throws a little thing and it, like, as his projectiles and it blows up to become, like, when it expands. Um, his beta looks like his parry in One's Justice 2, but I'm not sure what that's going to do. Or maybe, ooh, maybe he can absorb other projectiles that people throw at him. So, like, when Deku or All Might are throwing their punch fireball things at him he can just suck them up like he does in one justice 2 and then throw them back that could be really really interesting and we see him using his gamma ability here where he kind of just makes an explosion and teleports by throwing a marble mount lady we already saw yeah pick up different potions it'll do handy things yeah this is todoroki's gamma ability we saw before Some basic projectiles. Oh, we saw... Is this Compress? Did he throw that... Ooh, he threw that car? 
Is that, oh my god, he's basically projectiles. Oh, look, you can see, because he only has a few of them, only like five, whereas other people had like ten. He throws this whole ass <laughs> truck at someone. Jeez. Sue does a big whip. Shako uses her grappling hook or something, which looks interesting. I know I've looked at this trailer like 50 times, but it just is such a cool trailer. So much information in one go. And here's Deku's basic ability, just launching himself at Mount Lady. Pretty cool stuff. This is an awesome looking game. It's got a beta in February, I believe. Um, which is technically limited to Japan only, but we'll see. Oh, here. 2022, January 28th. I imagine these are the beta dates. 28th to the 6th of February. Oh, wait, no. Wait, what? 6th of February to that. 17th to the 28th. What's that? Is that like a super pre-beta or something? Don't know. Anyways, <laughs> that was a little bit long for a, a trailer reaction, but I just, I can't stop myself. There was too much stuff going on in this trailer. I have to look at everyone's abilities that we get to see on screen. Because usually in trailers, you don't get to see everyone's UI and all their abilities and everything. So this was an exciting trailer. <laughs> I'm sorry I took so long to look at it. But I hope you're as excited as I am, because I'm definitely going to play this game as like, soon as I can get my hands on it. But thank you for watching. Sorry that this video was so long. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.